democracy. We've had it for 13 years, which is good. And I believe that the time has come for the people of this country to begin to talk with their votes. The time has come for us to be mobilized sufficiently so that when we have bad leaders ruling us, we can vote them out. The moment you know that even as a sitting governor or as a sitting president, you can be voted out, then you may be tempted or to, to do the right thing if you have that right thing in you. Because sometimes we think our leaders are wicked, but some of them have actually tried their best. That is all they can offer. It's not that they have been wicked. They just they can cannot do get it. They just mm. cannot understand what you are saying. Mm. They just cannot see the problem. They, they, they cannot understand that every society that you call a society in the world today, civilized society, you do not celebrate brigandage. You do not celebrate corruption. But isn't that the problem with the people to a large extent? Because you're talking about voting with our thumb. If an election is held tomorrow, this government will probably be voted in again, one way or the other, whatever way you look at it. And if that is the case, is it the Nigerians actually don't care who rules them and how things... We just want to moan and groan and then get on with life? Is that the way we well, are? Well, we moan and groan, but what can we do? If you vote in an election and it is rigged, what can you do? Um, against violence. The other option is to be violent and then people will be killed. We all knew what happened during June 12. People were killed for protesting. Nigerians talked. Nigerians protested. So you get to a stage that it is still peaceful means that you have to work. I, I also understand the fact that, like that's why I'm talking about a national consensus. You know, an agreement. Many people are not even interested in free and fair elections. Our own definition of free and fair election in this country is that my candidate has won. So it is free and fair. When you say, but it was rigged, you say, eh, you only rigged where you are popular. Eh, the others were also rigged. Eh, even if you didn't rig, you would have won anyway. You know, that is, it's a very common, it's a very common statement we make. Yeah. And also, you see, the mass of the people, this, when they tell you that 70% of Nigerians are living on less than a dollar a day, it has practical implications. Yeah. Somebody who has not seen one six dollar in a day, you give him a thousand naira to vote. He, he, he's, he's very vulnerable. So that is also part of the point. So it's like a vicious cycle that we have to break out of. Because people cannot express their free will because of their economic impotence. Mm. Okay. okay. And as, as, as you said, breaking out means using your tongue. Yes. We, have to, we cannot give up. We continue to say it until one day it works. Okay. Uh, in Simon, 20 years' time. Simon, thank you very much. It's great to have you on the show this morning. Uh, we will be taking a break shortly. We want to say thank you, Simon Kolarali, has been... One of our guests on this issue of state pardon. We're taking a break now. When we come back, we'll bring on the essay, media, and publicity to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Dr. Ruben Abatu. He will be joining us in a moment. Don't go away. MTN makes life even richer with the new MTN Super Saver. At 10 cobble per second, all you need to do is just dial star 408 hash to migrate. MTN. Everywhere you go. Need a bit of extra cash? Running out of space and need to get rid of some stuff? Well, why not sell it on OLX? It's really easy. Just log on to www.olx.com.ng. Click on Post a Free Ad. Select the correct category. Fill in the form. Upload a picture of your item and add your contact details. Then simply wait for a buyer to call you. It's that quick and easy. And it's free. OLX.com.ng. Not another luxury. The new luxury comes into the world. Experience new luxury. Kia Quaris. Many people choose Total every day. 
It's a matter of trust. Total, you know where to turn. Yes, welcome back. And um, now we've just been joined by Dr. Ruben Abati, the essay media and publicity to the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Now, state pardon granted to eight people, with, we're told. And two of them have created a whole load of uh, arguments and who are about the pardon to them. What would the government be saying about the fact that people's concern is along the lines of why grant it now? Because people are saying if it's done maybe 10, 20 years down the line and we've seen what both of them, at least not the others, both of them have done for Nigeria, maybe it might be justifiable. But why now? Well, a number of quick points uh, need to be made. The first is that there's been a lot of ignorance, you know, about, you know, what has happened. And sophisticated ignorance. But I respect the fact that part of our responsibility is to continue to explain to people. The first thing to note is what a state pardon is not. One, a state pardon does not mean that an individual was not convicted at a particular time. In fact, a state pardon means that you have been convicted for a particular crime, you have been punished. The pardon within the view of the Constitution means a forgiveness, you know, of what you have done, and an opportunity to give you a chance to be reformed, to reintegrate back into society. So a man who has been given a state pardon, the fact still remains there, that this particular person has been convicted of a crime, has served the punishment, but the state then has granted this pardon, which restores corporal rights. And what do I mean by corporal rights? It simply means you know, that that person can be reintegrated into society. And it's a jurisprudential point about the issues of crime and punishment. What is the purpose of punishment in relation to crime? Right? You punish the individual, you create a deterrence, but the long term, in modern jurisprudence also, is to provide an opportunity for such persons to be reintegrated into society. You then ask the question, how are those persons selected? It varies from different countries, one country to the other. And almost every country has this provision. So what has been done is constitutional. Section 175 of the Constitution grants the President of Nigeria the powers, the prerogative to grant pardon, remission, commutal, reprieve, relief. All these are listed in the various sections of that uh, particular provision. Section 212 grants similar powers to the state governors. And that is why... You know, uh, almost every year you hear that a state governor goes to the prison and, you know, together with the chief judge, he frees some people. Now, again, it is not an act of uh, arbitrariness. There is a procedure. Persons who seek state pardon apply for it. They present their prayers through the Committee on the Prerogative of Mercy, which is chaired by the Attorney General of the Federation. This is then, recommendations are then made to the President. And the President, in his wisdom, would then take, you know, look at this, and then the Constitution says that the President can only act after consultation with the Council of State, subsection 2 of section 175. What the uh, framers of the law intended to do with that is to ensure that although the power is exercised within the discretion of the President, that there is no abuse, that there is proper consultation, that other people have an input, and at the end of the day, whatever the President decides to do, will have been reviewed by other persons. And if you look at the constitution, uh, the composition of the uh, Council of State, you will see that these are persons who are serving governors, persons who are served at the highest levels of the country. So it is, there is a process, and there is a lot of wisdom involved. What it is not, again, it's not a Father Christmas activity. Because I've had a lot of people saying, 
Oh, why is this person not there? Why is that person not there? Persons who are concerned, who think that they deserve a state pardon, can apply.